to share just a little bit with you about home strawberries. They can be a great option in the home garden. They don't take up too much space and they're a fabulous tasty crop for the young and old. The first decision that you're going to have to make when it comes to home garden strawberries is what type do you want to grow? And you really have two options. One is what we often hear called Juneberry. Now here in Tennessee, they might well bear in May, but they are, um, they're actually short day, which means that they set their buds in last fall and then they'll bloom and bear in the early part of the summer or the late spring. The other option is what we call everbearing or day neutral, which means that they'll bloom, they'll set fruit, and you'll have two to three smaller harvests throughout the summer. So that's decision number one. The second decision uh, will be what, how you're getting your plants. And so you, once again, have two options. One of them is bare root, which is what I have right here. Bare root is great for the gardeners because they're cost effective and you can get almost any cultivar that you would like. The other option that you would have is what we would often call a plug. Or for home gardeners that are used to growing tomatoes and peppers, you could think of them as a transplant. And so they're rooted with media. And one of the upsides about these is that they're not, you don't have to plant them quite as quickly. With a bare root plant, you'll need to get it in the ground within a few days of it arriving. So um, lots of times you might not find quite as many cultivars of the plug types of strawberries available, but they can also be a really good option for the home.